What's going on guys? Welcome back to Pottery, which is the name of my town in Banished, obviously. Uh, <clears throat> I hope the music actually works this time around, because last time it got a little messed up, and I had to put my own music in there, and uh, didn't go over well immediately, uh, because, oh boy, so we got a lot of iron tools out, but it's fine, it's fine, we're doing good. Um, but yeah, the music was a little bit too loud, and some people complained, so I deleted the video. Had to redo all of it. Uh, that's kind of the uh, the story there. Anyway, we're trying to get a Forster Lodge going. We already have a fishing dock, so we're getting extra food from that. And, oh boy, as it turns out, we don't have enough food coming in. Which isn't good. Let's get make someone else a Forester. Set the other one over here to one person there you go and then two people can start working here which is gonna be pretty great now um, we need to figure out a way to get extra food though that is definitely uh, on the plan here so I need to figure out how we're gonna get extra food and I need to do it pretty quickly uh, pasture not an option fishing dock is an option I already have one of those though orchard crop field and pasture don't work so all I really have is a hunting cabin and a gather's hut. So what I think I'm gonna do is put another one of these bad boys a little bit closer to town. This circle should be filled up pretty soon. Uh, let's, so boy, I kinda wanna put it right there, but I feel like that might be something like this. Let's make that real quick. And as soon as that's done, we should get a lot of extra food, uh, which is obviously awesome. So we need to get that figured out. You know, the whole food situation, we're doing okay right now. And the food is mostly low because of the fact that I've been... Oh my god, two people just became adults. That is awesome. Um, but the food supplies are mostly low because I... Um, because I sent a bunch of food over here. Pretty nice amount of food. Almost 600 food, so that's mostly... Um, responsible for this. But now that we have this gathers hut as well, where I will place probably one person right now, uh, that should get us another pretty sweet supply of food. After which we will make a couple houses around this area for the fishers to live, the, the forester that's working here, and also the gatherer. Uh, so that's kind of the plan I got right now. Let's see, 16. We should be fine right with this. Um, I'm going to put one right... kind of just want to put it right here. Let's make two houses right here. You know, we got the room. And we still have a bit of space for a... Um, for a sweet road to go in between them. There we go. We're gonna make this into a little square so we can make some more shit over here. Um, still gotta determine what that will be, but we're gonna make something there. I just realized we still need to make a storage barn. Which, right now we don't have enough logs for it, but I think that that is definitely uh, a common. So, we're gonna deal with that. Uh, we need more people. Okay, we got... Let's a point one extra gatherer. Uh, let's keep the minimum or the maximum for this to a one so that the gatherers will continue working in this thing. Why are people walking through the cemetery all day long? I don't know. I honestly do not know. Uh, let's just get these houses going. Uh, the reason that that new Amster swag, which is my old uh, village, didn't really work out that well is because I didn't really make enough houses and there weren't enough people to um, Enough, I mean, there wasn't enough room for people to live, so everybody just sort of got crammed into one house. Uh, I want to avoid that as much as possible, so right now we are putting all these people uh, right next to their house, and we're going to have enough houses. I mean, right, right next to their place of work, basically. And we're going to make sure that we have enough houses for people to live in. Because that way we can make sure the village uh, stays populated. And it's, it's good, you know, people can get children. It's pretty awesome. We're already almost up to 30 people in this little town. Here we go. Two youngsters moved in. That's awesome. Um, but what we want to do is... What was I just talking about? Oh, yeah. What I was talking about is my old village had, I believe, about 40 people living in, in, in total. Or maybe it was like 38 or something like that. Uh, close to 40. So if we actually reach the 40 with this town, then this village will already be better than the old one. So that's kind of what I'm going to be going for. There's an 11-year-old girl there. There is an 11-year-old dude there. So they're probably going to move in together here. And, well, one of them. Hard moved in there as well. Got Hard and Joycely. I think we can all guess what's going on in that house. 
Uh, let's see, you got 48. I don't think we're gonna be able to get that soon enough. We might have to hold out until winter's over, because if I, uh, a child named Leth was born... Not over here. They don't hump that fast. These people humped again. Teresia is almost an adult. Uh, we got Ch Tristanley, McKaylin. They're all grown up so fast. It's beautiful. Uh, I got an eight-year-old over there, Barry So we got 29 people now. We're about to reach 30. Two young couples moved in. You know, they're obviously gonna bang all day long and make kids and shit like that, so that's good. At least that means that we're gonna get, um... Gonna get lots of people living in my town. Looks like we're... Yeah, you haven't really reached the limit, dude. I mean... I think we should get some more firewood. Let's up the limit on this. Because I want to make sure that we almost always have enough of that shit. Uh, we don't have any leather. We got four leather. Uh, okay. Well, I guess the tailor will, will deal with it when uh, possible, basically. We're good in herbs as well, so... Let's see, we really need to make that barn though, because then a fisherman will become a lot more effective, which is awesome. We need to make sure the fishermen don't have to walk all the way back to the storage barn in town uh, to dump their fish. They have to just store it around here. So I think that when I make a storage barn, such as this one, we should be able to squeeze it in between this area, which is pretty cool. It's gonna be a close one, but it's gonna work. Um, but we're gonna ha hold off on this one until winter's over. It's already late winter, but Don't want to take any chances. They're still growing the trees How about the other one this one? Oh Man, they're doing pretty good Pretty good indeed but We're gonna need more logs They just made an entire forest here. That's impressive. They're cutting down trees here and there You know, it's coming along pretty nicely That's good for us Child named Leth was born. Come on, Winter, it's time to leave. You are no longer wanted in this town. We, should, we need to figure out a place to get some extra iron, though. That's not iron, it's stone, I think. Okay, well, we reached early spring. We survived just fine. Even the food is just looking good. Uh, looks like... Is there any iron left here? Oh, there's some over here. Let's go grab that iron. All the laborers can go grab it, because that would be sweet. Oh, Damar. We've got another child. Theresia is now a an adult, actually. And Damar was born to uh, Waylon and Salia. Hard and Joycely have not made a child yet. But something tells me they are working on it as we speak. A child named Nanetter was born. That she? That's what I'm talking about. I know everything about this town. I know everybody in it. Um, yeah, so, whatever, man. Okay, let's see. Is this the big river? I think it is. Trying to figure out some things here. Why did I not make the trading post right here? I think that would have worked pretty nicely as well. Uh, but it's fine, because it, right now at least it's pretty close to the town. You know, so it's not really a super big deal. Uh, we do, however, need to cut down some trees, so I'm gonna give that order. And we're gonna go north to... this is what we planted. So we cut down some shit here. It's that... it's a lot of trees, for sure. But if we cut that down, we should have a pretty good supply lasting us a pretty long time. This one gatherer isn't doing super hot, but they're doing okay. And as soon as we have more trees in this area, they're gonna do a lot better. Okay, I'm pretty sure of that. So I'm not too worried about it. How are you guys doing? 580 fish. Now that's an impressive amount. You know, that's good for them. Now where's my logs, man? I've got 12 already. I guess the firewood cutter is just eating those fucking logs up like it's nothing. How about you guys? You don't have any yet. I think that we're going to be fine in terms of logs when they finally plant everything in this circle. But that's going to take a little while, so let's hope that they actually start removing- Oh, here you go. We're going to have so much wood now, because they're going to be cutting down everything here. And it looks like they've already- yeah, they're already bringing in some iron here and there. 
It looks like it's really far away, but it turns out that your your guys walk over there just fine. Uh, McKillen and Berlay grew up. Goddamn, there's so many people living here. It is getting out of hand. Uh, so we got two foresters and two fishermen living here. There's still room for one more gatherer. Oh, this design is sweet. Oh, I like this. Um, let's see, I might actually... No, let's not make it there. Let's just put that bad boy... Uh, right there. Looks pretty sweet. Let's get her done. Because uh, all these these youngsters that are just growing up, they obviously need to move out as, as soon as possible so they can start making their own kids. Uh, so that's kind of what we're going for here. And logs are starting to come in anyway, so I think we're doing okay. Food is still pretty stable. You know, it's not amazing, and it's going to get worse the more people grow up. But, um, you know, the more people grow up, the more room there is for... Um, for people to work jobs. We got four laborers as it is, and we really don't have any place to put them. You know, we have, we have two people set to, um... To be freaking laborers. Uh, I mean, builders, like, permanently, pretty much. You know, they're always building shit. We got four gatherers, two fishermen, two hunters, one woodcutter, three foresters, one herbalist, a tailor, a, a blacksmith, and a trader. And they're all just permanently set to that. Because they start doing other jobs when they're not busy. So, we're doing just fine, really. Now, are they still cutting down forest? I mean, I did give them an order to cut down a whole chunk of it, so... They're probably also still gathering the iron, from the looks of it, at least. Which... Oh, yes. It worked. Tell them Jenser was born. <laughs> Jenser, really? Okay. Merchants arrived. What's up, merchant? What do you sell? Berries and beans. You... Son of a bitch. You know, let's get rid of all this shitty venison. And just give me like 60 beans and 60 berries for that. You know, whatever. How about you just sell me seeds and some? This is bullshit. The trade is complete. It has been done. So now that this is set to desire to set to, to zero, so hopefully. Uh, he'll start bringing that back. I have no clue how this is gonna work, but we'll see. Tread some venison. Venison isn't really that big a deal, I think, and we got a pretty good amount of it. Can't really complain, and we're getting more food in return anyway, so... I think we're good there. Um, venison out of that. I could just trade tools, like one tool is enough for eight berries, but that doesn't seem like a fair trade at all. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say no to that one. Look at this beautiful forest. We cut down like everything in this circle and now it's all just, it's looking beautiful. Uh, I do feel that maybe we should put a, um, a hunting cabin in this open spot pretty much here or maybe a little higher because there's always deer here, look at that. Oh shit, they got a lot of iron over there. Child named Burn was born, Tristanley grew up. Let's see, where's Burn? Where's that? Burn, where did you, Janser? born there we have a lot of people here it's getting out of hand I don't know what to do with all these people there's too many of them uh, let's see why don't we just get another gatherer here you know, that's probably a pretty smart idea another hunter I wanna there we go another fisherman as well I want our food supplies to just start overflowing guys okay, so we never have to worry about anything anymore that's kinda what I want uh, now that we have enough firewood, it's already late summer, so, uh, we only have a little bit of time before winter sneaks up on us again. I do want to put the barn as close as possible to the, um... See, this just works for me. It's really close to the fisher fisherman's dock. We only need a few more logs and we're just, we're there. You know, we're done. This is gonna be awesome. They are gonna remove some trees, so I think we should be fine. Uh, can we fit a house? Oh, man, are you kidding me? That's not gonna fit. That's what she said. I didn't notice that... Oh, I guess the design is the same. I thought it was a different design every time you clicked on it, but maybe it's not. No, they're unique. They're different, but they're all pretty much the same size, I'm pretty sure. Because it is not gonna fit. Right here. Yeah, they're all pretty much the same size. Okay, well, so much for that plan. Uh, we could get a, uh, well? Oh, we could put a well there. 
There's enough room for that. Although I'm not sure that it's really going to contribute that much and it would cost quite a bit of stone. Look at my logs. What the hell just happened? We have a lot of logs now. Which is awesome. This is going to be amazing. Look how many trees are grown here. Saw that pile of berries. Gatherer is probably going to have some more success now. Oh boy, nope. Yeah, it looks like they're doing pretty okay now. As soon as the storage barn is done, they can just store their shit in there. Oh, we finished the house. Turnette and Theresia are sort of uh, living together. Good for them. A fisherman and a forester, so that works. It's like, I think one of the foresters probably works there, and the fisherman works there, so they go in opposite directions. But at the end of the day, you know, they come together, and they, uh, bang. I don't know what else they do. They probably do some shit. Derrico is almost set to move out. Too many people, man. Too many people. Derrico, we got... McKaylin one probably wants to move out. Derrico has become an adult. He's working as a laborer. We've got uh, 33 people now. We have too much shit. Uh, let's see, what else could we build? We could go with some more houses, but I feel like that may be a little... Uh, reckless right now. So instead, why don't we put a hunting cabin... Right on top of the rock so we can bring it back. That's what I want to do. And then I also want to get another gatherer's hut and put that right next to it. I think we're going to be okay like this. It's going to take a lot of our shit, but at least we're going to get a lot of food out of it. Which is important. Food is one of the most important things in the game, obviously, so... Yeah, we want to get some of that going. Uh, now let's make a road over there as well. Child named Athelm was born. That's a stupid name. That's not even a real name. That's a stupid road. Really don't want to go with that. Let's go with something like this. And then go like that. Yes. I feel like that might be uh, the best plan right now. And it's going to be winter soon. Luckily for me, we have lots of logs, so we should be okay. They're finishing up the storage barn. After which everything is going to get really efficient. So that's just beautiful. The netter. So we got 34 people. We are about to shatter the record. We got extra fish now. That extra people started working there, which is also pretty good. The trader left, finally. Yep, the beans are gone. So if you set it to, uh, if you remove the desired, if the desired is lower than the count, um, they basically just remove that shit, which is pretty good. I like that. Maybe some herbs. Let's go with 40 herbs so that my herbalist can actually get some things done. Because they're basically just wasting their time. I don't know what they're doing in there, but they're not working, that's for sure. Oh boy. I gotta tell you, I love it when you got big, efficient town going because everything happens so fast. Oh my god. That's good. Storage thing almost done. How many builders do I have? I guess people just start building it, even when they're laborers or something. Because no builders are working on either of these. So it works for me. It's winter. It's officially full-on winter. Let's see, woodcutter, are you still okay? You made a lot of firewood last season. And we're gonna need more. We're gonna need more firewood. I might just make another one around here. So we got a forester getting logs, store them here, and we got a woodcutter uh, doing shit over there. I think we're mostly, yep, we're done here, so our log supply should be stable for now. The only one that really needs logs right now is the woodcutter. Also, we have a beautiful storage bar now. Still have a pretty okay apply, um, apply? Supply of, uh, firewood. What are you doing? Oh, you're getting food. Oh, they're already starting to store shit. That's beautiful. 735 fish. They are shattering every record. Looks like we're good on the tools. We got 25 stored over here, so we can always just say, you know, drop it. <clears throat> drop the yeah, desired count. And they just bring it back to the, uh, the storage shit, which is pretty good. Also, no one's died. The only person to ever die in the city so far is Graggy. We do have Gradden and Lilia, who are already really old. We got Taylor and Layman. All these old people. Bessica and Gartha. I remember these. Sophroni. 
And I believe Arlie is actually a child of Sephroni because Sephroni used to live with Graggy, isn't it? Good old times. People are, are starting to grow up real fast. Eastony, Shannon, yeah, I remember them. Lavery has become an adult. How many laborers do we still have? Still four. Even with all the extra people I uh, I gave jobs, we're still late winter, running low on logs, but that's not really a big deal because we have pretty good firewood. We made it through the winter, you know, no problems. We are finishing uh, building the hunting cabin. I do want to make some extra hunters here because I have a feeling that's going to work out pretty well. There's not going to be lots of... Oh, shit. Okay, well, there's not going to be lots of... Um, trees here. That's probably going to be a bit of an issue there. Let's see. Hunters. we got three over here. Let's bring that down to... Oh, actually, they're doing pretty okay with the three of them. So I'm going to make two more to work here, I think. I mean, I got four people ready to, to work. So might as well put them to work. Get extra leather. Get extra clothes. Actually, what the hell? We have a lot of good clothes. Okay, let's make one hunter. Let's make two, maybe one gatherer here. And then we should be okay. Uh, although I should really think about another Forester's Lodge in this area. Uh, let's remove the stone around this thing. Because it is in my way. And I want it gone. So, you know, get rid of it. A child named Philia was born. Okay, I respect that. You know, it's not a real name, but sure. You know, do what you gotta do. That's my motto. Still growing trees. And it shouldn't be too long before they actually start bringing, on good, uh, bringing in good logs as well. Brigetta has become an adult. Working as a laborer. Let's get... Oh, one hunter is already working here. Let's get one extra. So we should be fine. One hunter is going to be working here. <clears throat> and they're not going to be super efficient now that there's no trees, I'm pretty sure. So... Want to get that figured out. Let's set this to two... Let's just go with two each, maybe? Oh, there's uh, probably three working in this one, which is good, because this one has pretty good, um, pretty good yield. Simmer has become an adult. That's another person we just got there. We got too many people in this town. We got 35 right now. Now, let's see. As soon as we have enough logs, I want to get another house going in this area so that the people that are now working here can also live in this area. Uh, because that should speed things up considerably. So let's put it right across from their house or from their place of work And we're gonna make it two of those. We don't have the logs right now, but they should start bringing them in pretty soon. Oh God, Kel Donald has become an adult. I Honestly did not think that that was a real name as well. Let's get another Forester here. This one's got three now. Uh, is that for the best? Probably. Actually, let's drop this down to a two. Then we got two over there. And, uh, look pretty good. Most I just really want to get these houses going. So that we can finally, you know, have people live here. And then after that, maybe we can see about getting another Forester's Lodge. And have someone replant the trees here. Because we are mostly taking trees right now. We can just put it right here. Eh, I'm not sure that's smart, though, because nothing's going to grow in the mountain anyway. Might be a bit of a waste. We can just put it like that, maybe. That would probably be most efficient. Uh, so that's something to consider. I'll, I'll put some thought into it. Don't worry. It's going to get figured out. Uh, let's see. Fisherman, are you still effective? Yes, you are. Doing pretty good. We got lots of fishies here. Looks like we got food mostly under control. Why is there eight firewood in this stupid thing? What? Why? Got 50 extra tools in there. We got one, two in there. 43 coats. Where is all the fish? Got 150 fish there. Are you telling me that people already ate all the fish? They're mostly just... Huh. That's interesting, because usually they build up a bit of a supply of fish before, um... People take it, but people are taking a lot of fish right here. 64. These these four uh, dudes have 116 fish. I mean, that is a lot of fishies, honestly. I am not one to judge, but come on. You know, do you really need that many? I don't think so. Are you still doing your job or something? Because, yeah, hit the limit. Okay, so we got 2,000 food right now. 220 fish. 
2,000 food. That's pretty good. That's really good. It's pretty self-sustaining so far, which is nice. I like that. I have a feeling that I could just walk away from the game right now and just come back in like an hour and everybody would still be okay. I mean, I'd be wasting time, but hey, at least we'd be okay. Uh, 10 leather. For just one person? I can't complain about that. That's actually pretty good. See, they're already just they're getting all this venison and shit. Oh, so that's what happens. So, gatherers and hunters just sort of drop their shit on the ground that they get. And then the laborers come over, pick, it, pick that up, bring it to the storage barn, and that's kind of how it works, I guess. 14 fish, whoever put those in there, I have no clue. But, uh, thanks, I guess? Yep, they're starting to do a bit better. This is just one person, so that's, that's pretty good food right there. Uh, and it's probably because all the trees are starting to, uh, to sprout up. That's a lot of trees that they're planting, I mean, for sure. Not bad at all. Uh, we might, however, want to consider in the future making another fishing dock around here. Uh, like that. Because that's a lot of water that they would be fishing in. It's, it's, it's stupid that the other fishing dock's so close, but... It's not like there's a lot of choice around here. And it would look pretty cool. You can't deny that. Let's see, I don't think there's any other... Oh, this would be, like, an awesome spot for a fish, uh, fishing dock. Would be something like this. But it's so far away. Like, I, I can't do that. Wouldn't make sense, but yeah. Oh, here we go. Houses are done. Two young couples moved in. That's good. They're gonna make so many kids. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, 24 years old already. Hard is grown up. 57. I think he might be the oldest dude in my village. But he's probably going to be 80 before we even know it. I like how the game actually sort of prioritizes who lives where. Like, they actually put thought into it. They have a system. Like, a fisherman and a forester live here. And just go like that. And over here we got a gatherer who works there. And one forester who works there. It's pretty good. You know, I like, I like that very much. Um, now, let's see. Are there still... Oh, they're all by themselves now. Their kids moved out. We got two... Kiddos, we got, let's see, a dude and a little girl, so they should probably move in together. Uh, but over there, there's a lot of people living there. So I think we need to think about getting another house. Uh, where does the trader live? Lives right there, together with the gatherer. I think we need more houses here to deal with the, um, I mean, they're very, you know, the gatherers and the, the hunters and the herbalists probably live pretty far away. So I'm going to put down a house right there. And they don't even have to remove anything. So, how sweet is that? We're making another tiny village in this little area. And that's gonna be pretty cool. Reserve of logs is low. Okay, they're starting to bring in more logs. Lots of fish. Lots of fish. 77 logs. You know, I think we're gonna be okay. We're probably gonna get it under control now that. Also, I feel like maybe the trees grow back anyway, even when you don't have a forester's lodge, although I am not entirely sure about that. But we'll see about that for sure. Why does a blacksmith have two logs? Does he actually get his own logs when he needs them, or... I just I have no clue. Also, we have too much leather for the, um... The tailor, like, they have so many leather that she doesn't know what to do with it. Or, I'm assuming it's a she, but it's a dude. It's an old guy, but whatever. You know, it's, uh, lots of shit. Lots of shit. How about this house? Child named Brockett was born. Oh, that's gotta be the new house. One of the new houses. Nope, not one of the new houses. Are you telling me... Okay, who banged and made this kid? Brockett. Who made that? Oh, here we go. It's Waylon and Celia. Oh, Trader's back. Sweet! Here we go. Derrico and Kel Donald. Kel Donald's a woman? Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know why her parents would do that to you. That is mean. That is mean. Uh, let's make another house right across. Oh, man. It's going to be so close to each other, it's not going to look good. It's going to look like shit. Let's just put it right there. It's going to look pretty good. Don't worry about it. 
I was actually gonna end the video, but I guess we're gonna go talk to the trader and see what they have for sale before we actually uh, take our leave. Why did you just walk over Mountain Teresia? What is wrong with you? I feel like maybe we should get some extra tools here, so let's upgrade this to about 40. And hopefully we're gonna get those tools fast enough. Because... We want to trade them with this guy. Please have seeds that I can actually afford, because that would be amazing. Up the venison also quite a bit. Trader has arrived. He's got cattle. And all he wants is stupid tools. Yeah, I'm not even close, man. I'm not even close. I'm gonna need a lot more tools for this to work. A lot more tools. So let's see, it's eight, the pop. So it's like a hundred tools for one piece of cattle. Well, that just doesn't seem fair to me. Let's get like 10 hide coats in here as well. Uh, we're gonna have to figure out ways to trade because it is gonna be stupid. Uh, let's see, we got, let's get some herbs in here. He probably doesn't want herbs. He does not. All he wants is tools and hide, ooh, hide coats are pretty good. Let's get 20 of those. Dude, we barely use those bitches. Let's, let's get 30. Yeah. Yeah, we get 30. We're gonna get pretty close here. I just want cattle. And I believe that you should be fine. There was a whole discussion last time. I believe one piece... A child named Lion was born. Oh my god, you glorious bastards. Who, who did this? Good job, Simer and McKaylin. Child named Lion. That's good. That's pretty good. I can live with that. Okay, so we got 40 iron tools now. It's 320. Child named Barrett was born. How about getting me my iron and my hide coats? Actually, we should probably just use that iron. Let's not trade the iron. That's dumb. We're going to use it to make tools. And we're just going to trade those tools. That's going to be way better. Way better. Now, how are we doing on the coats? Come on, I want to get them. Oh, man. We're still going to need a lot of coats to actually do this. But if we can... Oh, a child named Florin was born. We got nine, uh, 39 people now. Damn. We're about to break the record. Uh, I think I want to go with custom order cattle and sheep just once. Uh, let's just ask him to bring everything over. I want to get whatever I can get. I'm assuming cattle is actually the most expensive one because you can get leather from it, I'm assuming. I've never had cattle, but I'm assuming that that is what you get off of it. Uh, Brocket was born there. We got Florin born there. We got Lion, and we got Barrett. Barrett's a good name. That's like an actual name, I'm pretty sure. So, you know, good for you guys. What the hell is my trader doing, man? Gathering food? Barely, that's not your job. Okay, get my high coats. Although there's no way we're gonna have enough to actually get a piece of cattle. So that blows. Come on. Leth has become an adult, is now working as a laborer. Looks like we're not gonna be able to make this work right now, this stupid trade. Lots of logs. Okay, looks like we basically got a forest going. They got 10 logs, but next season is going to be great for them. They're going to get everything. What the fuck are you doing? Gathering fuel? That's not your job. Your job is not to gather fuel. The trader's just sitting there. Eamon. He's just sitting there. He's not doing anything. You're just leaving him there? Come on. You can't do that. He's going to leave soon. Let's see, let's go. There's a nice angle going here. Look at the cute little man in the boat. Looks pretty good with the snow and everything. Sean and Carissa was born. We officially have 40 people. Okay, I like three videos. Previously, it took me like eight or nine videos to get up to that. So, I think we got this. I think we were doing a pretty good job so far. Food's still doing fine. Firewood is starting to get... Little bit on the low side, but as soon as this Forester's Lodge is really and fully in action, I think we're gonna be doing a lot better. How are we doing on the uh, 14 leather? One person. That's wonderful right there. That's not bad at all. 
Honestly, it's it's not. Oh no, he's leaving. Oh, they actually, they finally got the hide coat. Eh, it wouldn't have been enough anyway. Okay, so Barely moved in here by herself. 18 year old traitor. You son of a bitch. Okay, you know what? Mm, let's get one less person here. Oh, let's get one more person here. And, well, that didn't work. That little trick did not work. I was hoping it did. Child named Tenity was born. Tenity? Are you sure about that one, Tenity? Because that doesn't really sound like a real name, though, does it? But okay. Tenity was born. We got two nine year olds already? We have too many people. I can already see how this is going to be a bitch to manage. Firewood, we're almost out. Oh my god, a child named Howardo was born. Howardo, that's awesome. That's just an awesome name. Uh, Tenity, it's time for this, this dude to move out. He's 36 years old. You know, he should really move out. He's still living with his mom. It's a little... It's getting a bit much. Howardo, there he is. Demar, a 10-year-old boy, moved in with Barelay. Good for you. Uh, let's see, we got a bunch of people over here. We got storage barns doing pretty good. Maybe we should stock up on some fish here. You know, if someone wants them, I got a buttload of those things anyway, so let's get like 300 of them. That's a pretty big amount, but uh, at least we can trade it with people, which is kind of what I want. Also, we need more coats. Are we out of leather? I guess we are. Okay then, looks like people are just eating the coats right now. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's the end of the winter. Anyway guys, we've been going for 36 minutes. I really need to uh, end the video here. Uh, I'm making too many, like, too long videos these days. I need to cut that shit out. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think we're doing really good so far. We got 42 people by now. Yeah, year 9? That's pretty good. We started out on harsh everything. It was basically hard, you know, like it wasn't easy. Um, we pretty much nailed it so far. We do need to get trees, and we need to get that shit now. Or we're gonna be in trouble. Cut that shit down. Okay, we need logs. I just noticed we actually have zero, and we got four firewood. That's not good. That's not good at all. I'm gonna prioritize the shit out of this. So there you go. And uh, I'm gonna leave it there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I think we're doing really good. I'm still enjoying this game. People have been telling me it's gonna get boring after a couple hours. Uh, I played for 10 hours so far, and I still love it, so I don't really know. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well, and uh, we'll be back soon with some more Banished. So thanks for watching a lot.